Hey guys, let's talk about how to get great sounding audio in DaVinci Resolve and why it can make or break your video. People can forgive a lot as long as things are still sounding good, even if your video quality isn't the best. But as soon as your audio is bad, things get really distracting really fast. And so we need a workflow in DaVinci Resolve so that we can consistently output well-mixed audio where the dialogue, music, and sound effects are not competing with each other and we've set the correct loudness for our video before we post it. All right, guys, let's jump into it. The very first thing that you wanna do is go down to this cog in the corner and click on that to open your settings. And now here under Fairlight, you wanna change the target loudness level to the YouTube target, which is minus 14 LUFs. And now in the Fairlight page, the value of zero on your loudness meter is actually the target loudness of minus 14 LUFs. And here where it says short, this tells you how much you are going over or under that target in real time. You can also play back and collect information like max value, range, and pay special attention to this one that says integrated. That is gonna be an average value. Now the secret to a great audio mix is taking away frequencies first instead of trying to boost what we want to hear. Let's double click here to open our EQ for our music track. Now we're carving out space for what we want to hear. We want to make sure that the music frequencies aren't competing with the dialogue. So let's cut everything out above 7k and this will take out the brightness from the music and give some clarity to the dialogue. And the next thing we want to do is lower some of the presence at 4k and this will take out the crispiness from the drums and will give our dialogue more presence. And at 1k it's really important because there's not much room and it can get very busy because you're your voice has a lot of energy here. So lowering 1K will make a big difference for the comprehension of your dialogue. And then at one to 200 Hertz is where we have the boom and the richness of our voice. So we can lower this if our dialogue is sounding muddy. And lastly, we wanna cut out these low frequencies to remove the rumble. Now that our music is EQ'd, double click here to add a compressor to our dialogue track. And what this will do is help control the dynamics of your voice. Now this is the coolest part. We can use sidechain compression to automatically compress and reduce the gain of our music track because it's triggered by our dialogue signal. So what you can do is press send on your dialogue track on your music track open it up turn on the compressor and press listen you can lower the threshold to increase that gain reduction and if you're still with me, you are an absolute legend. So I'm gonna give you one extra tip. You can group together your dialogue tracks, your music tracks, and your sound effect tracks into buses really, really easily. What you wanna do is click on Fairlight and under bus format, you can add in buses. So we'll set this to be a stereo bus and we'll call this dialogue. Call this one music and we'll call this one sound effects. And then we'll just press okay. And it's really straightforward. So under bus outputs, you wanna make sure that each track is heading to the bus that you just created. So we have dialogue, music, sound effects and then the actual buses that we've created here we want to make sure that these are going to our master bus and it's so powerful to be able to group your tracks together like this when you're mixing and that's it you are now an audio mixing master thank you so much for joining me and i'll see you on the next one